Good day everyone, I am Rizal Maidingding, a third year BE Ed student. Now here are the local educational leaders that inspires me the most. First is Dr. Leonor Magdolis Briones. So she is distinguished a Filipino educator and a public servant who served as the secretary of the Department of Education from 2016 to 2022. She had a long and illustrious career in public service and academia. Now here are her accomplishments. Her advocacy is for quality and inclusive education and promotes financial liter literacy and fiscal responsibility among educators and students. Impact. Her leadership during the pandemic ensured that education continued despite unprecedented challenges benefiting millions of Filipino students. Her initiatives have significantly improved the quality of basic education in the country, aligning it with aligning it with international standards. Her style of leadership is pragmatic and reform-oriented with a strong focus on policy implementation and educational quality. And here are my references. Next is Sara Duterte Carpio. She is a Filipino lawyer, politician, and educator, currently serving as the Vice President of the Philippines and Secretary of the Department of Education since 2022. She is the daughter of former President Rodrigo Duterte. Now here are her accomplishments. Her advocacy is for accessible and quality education for all Filipino children and promotes policies for student welfare and educational infrastructure improvement. Impact her leadership during the pandemic ensured that education continued despite unprecedented challenges benefiting millions of Filipino students and her initiatives have significantly improved the quality of basic education in the country, aligning with international standards. The style of her leadership is proactive and community-focused, emphasizing the importance of accessibility and quality in education. And lastly, here are my references. Next is Dr. Fe Hidalgo. She is an esteemed Filipino educator who served as the acting secretary of the Department of Education and has held various leadership positions within the education sector. Now here are her accomplishments. Advocacy. She is the champion of teacher education and development and advocates for equal access to quality education for all Filipino children. Impact. Her leadership has led to better teaching conditions and resources, benefiting countless students and teachers across the Philippines, and instrumental in the development of policies aimed at improving public education. The style of leadership that she has is supportive and empowering with a focus on enhancing teacher capabilities and resources. Now here are my references. Next is Dr. Patricia B. Licuanan. She is a Filipino educator and psychologist who served as the chairperson of Commission on Higher Education and as president of Miriam College. Now here are her accomplishments. Advocacy. She is strong advocate for gender equality and women's rights, rights, focuses on higher education reform and quality assurance. Impact. Her efforts have led to significant improvements in higher education standards and gender equality in educational institutions. And she also influenced policy changes that promote inclusive and equitable education. Style of leadership strategic and policy-driven with a commitment to quality and equality in education. Now, here are my reference. Next is Father Joel Tabora, SJ. So, he is a Filipino Jesuit priest and educator who is currently the president of Ateneo de Davao University. He is known for his advocacy in social justice and quality education. Now, here are his accomplishments. Advocacy. He advocates for social justice, peace education, and environmental sustainability. He also promotes holistic education that includes spiritual and moral development. Impact. His leadership has transformed Ateneo de Navao University into a leading institution for social justice and community service. And he also inspired students and faculty to engage in meaningful social and environmental causes. The style of leadership that he has is integrative and mission-driven, focusing on holistic development and community service. Now, here are my references. 
Next, let's go to international educational leaders that also inspires me. First is Malala Yousafzai. She is a Pakistani advent activist for female education and the youngest ever Nobel Prize laureate. Born in 1997, she became an international symbol of, of the struggle for girls' education after surviving an assassination attempt by the Taliban in 2012. Now, here are her accomplishments. Advocacy. Strong advocate for girls' education and women's rights, promotes universal access to education, particularly in conflict zones and developing countries. Impact. Her advocacy has in inspired global movements and policies aimed at ensuring education for all, especially, especially girls. And she has become a role model for young activists worldwide, demonstrating the power of education and resilience. The style of leadership that she has is inspirational and courageous with a focus on advocacy and storytelling to mobilize global support for education. Now here are my references. Next is Sir Ken Robinson. He was a British author, speaker, and international advisor on education in the arts. He was known for his work in promoting creativity in education and his influential TED Talks, Do School Skill Creativity? Now here are his accomplishments and his advocacy is for creativity and innovation in education. He also promotes personalized learning and the need to rethink traditional educational paradigms. Impact. His ideas have influenced educational policies and practices globally encouraging a shift towards more holistic and creativity focused education system. And he inspired educators to adopt more innovative and student-centered approaches to teaching. The style of leadership that he has is thought-provoking and visionary, using humor and compelling arguments to challenge conventional educational practices. Now here are my references. Next is Andreas Sklitscher. He is a German statistician and researcher in the field of education. He is best known for his role as the Director for Education and Skills and Special Advisor on Education Policy to the Secretary General at the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Now here are his accomplishments. Advocacy, he advocates for evidence-based education policies, promotes international benchmarking and best practices in education to improve learning outcomes. Impact, his work with PISA has provided valuable data and insights that help shape education policies around the world. And he also influenced educational reforms aimed at improving student performance and equity in education. Now, the style of leadership that he has is analytical and data-driven, emphasizing the importance of measurable outcomes and international comparisons in education. Now, here are my references. Next is Dr. Sugata Mitra. He is an Indian education scientist and professor of educational technology at Newcastle University in the United Kingdom. He is known for his hole in the wall experiments and pioneering work on self-organized learning environments or soul. Now here are his accomplishments and advocacy. He advocates for self-directed and exploratory learning, promotes the use of technology to create inclusive and accessible learning environments. Impact. His work has influenced the development of new pedagogical approaches that leverage technology to empower learning learners. And he also inspired educators and policymakers to rethink traditional education models and embrace more flexible, student-centered methods. Now, the style of leadership that he has is innovative and experimental, focusing on the transformative potential of technology in education. And next is Dr. Linda Darling Hammond. She is an American educator, researcher, and professor emeritus at the Stanford Graduate School of Education. She is the founding president of the Learning Policy Institute, which conducts and communicates independent, high-quality research to improve education policy and practice. Now, here are her accomplishments. Advocacy. She advocates for equitable and high-quality education for all students, promotes teacher professional development, and effective instructional practices. Impact. Her research and advocacy have significantly influenced education reform efforts in the U.S., particularly in the areas of teacher quality and equitable access of education. She also provides evidence-based recommendations that have 
that have shaped policy and practices to improve educational outcomes. Now, the leadership, the style of leadership that she has is research-oriented and policy-driven with a strong focus on equity and teacher effectiveness. Now, here are my reference. And I would like to end my report with a quote. Leaders become great not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others by John Maxwell. Now that ends my report. I hope that you have learned a lot today. Thank you for watching.